everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. Today I'm coming to you with a spoiler-free book review of Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful by Arwen Ellis Staten. I received this in exchange for a free and honest review from Wonderkind PR and Delacorte Press, or Delacorte. I'm sorry, I should look that up, I just haven't. <laughs> so these are my honest thoughts and opinions. This was released in December of 2018 and it is a YA dystopian sort of anthology. I say it's sort of an anthology in that it's told in six parts and each part is kind of like its own short story. However, I would not recommend reading any one of these short stories outside of this book necessarily. I feel like they need to all be together to have this cohesive theme. Basically, this is a YA dystopian story that takes place across time, so the further you get into the book, the further you're getting into the future, and it's exploring technology and biotechnology and the evolving nature of humanity based on what we have done with technology in the near future and then in the far future. And though these are all separate, this theme of how the human experience has changed because of technology and then also examining religious zeal is consistent across all six stories. And there is mention of one specific character across the entire book as well. And because of the unique nature of this book, I'm going to do my review a little bit differently than I typically do. Typically, I would do likes, dislikes, and a star rating. In this case, I'm going to talk briefly about each short story or each part of this book, tell you my star rating for that specific part, and then give you my overall averaged out star rating. So the first story was Matched Pair, which was about a brother and sister. It explores organ donation and grafting and everything in the near future. I gave this one two and a half stars. It was very short, I just felt indifferent throughout most of it. I wasn't overly interested in it. The next story was St. Ludmila, which I gave 4.5 stars. It's about a teenage girl who is having a dating experience and how that is influenced by this mesh line that she has in her body, which was necessary after an accident. The next one is the Reverend Mr. Tad, Tad's love story. And I also gave this one 4.5 stars. It's basically a story about changing beliefs when you are the child of someone who comes from a very extreme belief. And then what happens when people are flipping from one extreme side to another and you're in between. I liked the exploration of when you're a centrist on an issue but you're just surrounded by these very strong opinions, what that's like, particularly when it's a family member. Then there's Eight Weighted, which I gave four stars. It's basically about an altered human who lives with dolphins, exploring the potential side effects when we are tampering with things like intelligence of newborn life. Then there's the story that really dragged my overall rating of the book down quite a bit, which was California, which I gave one star. I really hated this one. I don't really even want to say anything much about what it's actually about, just know that it contains dubious consent and bad Russian accents. And then finally, there's Curiosities, which I gave four stars. This is the story that's way out in the future where humanity has changed, the basic definition of humanity has changed, and how maybe we as humans as we are right now will one day be considered a different species because of the way humanity has been altered. I gave this book overall a 3.5 star rating. I enjoyed a lot of it, but there was about a third of it that I either didn't care too much about or I actively disliked. This is recommended for fans of Black Mirror and I really see why. As someone who watched one Black Mirror episode and hated it and said I would never watch anything else again, then watched another and loved it, and then I watched Bandersnatch, which I played sort of, and I had very mixed feelings. I'm not surprised that I had such mixed feelings about varying stories in this book. If you're a fan of Black Mirror though, I think you would probably like this, or if you're just interested in the themes of technology and humanity. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this or if you're interested in it. If you have read it, what have you thought about it? Did you agree with any of my opinions? Thank you for watching, hope you have a good day, and until next time, bye.